Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome to my 2020 Rewind video. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Welcome back, welcome back to the back to Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> to begin, I will start off with the goals that I set for this year, tell you guys what I accomplished them or not. Following that, we'll be talking about the goals that I have for next year. Following that, we'll be talking about the changes that I made to my channel this year. Following that, we'll be talking about what I learned this year. Um, following that, we'll be wishing you guys a happy New Year, and then I'll get straight into my outro. Each year, I make sure that I set goals for myself, uh, personal goals, career goals, school goals, YouTube goals, and just goals in general. I just make sure that I have goals for myself, and I try my best to accomplish each one of those goals. The goals that I set for myself um, relating to YouTube uh, last year, uh, for this year, we're one hit 300 subscribers. I did not accomplish that goal, but I will eventually. Two, be consistent. Beginning of the year, I was not consistent, but towards the middle and going into the end, I remained consistent. So I did accomplish that goal. Three, upload 52 videos. I uploaded way more than 52 videos. So I did accomplish that goal. Four, find new ways to edit, which I did. I started to use a, a real editing software and I learned a bunch of new ways to edit. Uh, I did that. Um, five, quality over quantity. I did accomplish that. Um, six, try new kind of videos. I did try new kinds of videos. So I did accomplish that. And then four, do more interviews, motivational videos, Christian videos, collaborations, and collaboration. I did accomplish that. Now I'll begin into the goals that I set for 2021. The first goal that I have is to be consistent. Two videos should be uploaded each week with no breaks. That's a goal that I have for myself. Consistency is very important, especially what I'm doing right now. I got to put my videos out each and every week. Two videos each and every week. Friday videos and the Bible study Saturdays. Two, by the end of um, 2021, 104 videos should be uploaded. Uh, two videos a week. So in total, 104 videos should be uploaded from this channel next year. Uh, 80 videos were uploaded uh, this year on my channel. Three, find new ways to edit and new ways to record. Because it's, it's a bunch of things that I still don't know about editing and recording. I just want to learn more to uh, perfect my craft and just get better at editing and making videos. Four, uh, find new ways to promote the channel. Uh, Right now, I have ways that I promote my channel, but I know it's a bunch of different ways that you can promote your channel, and I want to learn those ways. Um, five, make any necessary changes to my channel in order for it to grow. This year, I made a lot of changes to my channel uh, a lot, and I know it's always room for improvement. It's always changes that will be made, and I'm just making sure that any changes I need to make, I need to go ahead and make those changes. Seven, listen to God in the direction he wants this channel to go. Involve God in everything you do with this channel. This is uh, the most important goal out of all of them. There's two more goals coming after this. But the reason why this is the most important goal because I like to involve God in every single thing. I want God to lead me, not me lead me. Because me leading me, I'm going to fall, I'm going to stumble. God leading me, I will be good and I'll be putting in the right direction. So I want to involve God in everything and let him lead me through this channel. I want to listen to him and not listen to me. Eight, continue to make Christian content. I will be thoroughly focused on Christian content. That's exactly what I'm focused on, straight Christian content. I won't be moving into any type of content other than Christian content. Uh, and last, which is number nine, uh, do collaborations with other Christian YouTubers, leaders, and youth. I did a lot of collaborations this year. And I just want to do, make sure that I do more for next year. Now I'll begin into the changes that I made to my channel this year. The changes that I made to my channel this year are, one, I changed my profile picture and my black splash. My profile picture was uh, an old picture, of me, white shirt with a Guyanese flag on. That didn't really represent uh, what I was trying to do, so I had to change that. And my black splash, too, still didn't represent what I wanted to do, so I made sure that I changed that. Uh, the second thing I, was I changed my channel name to be... In the beginning of the year, my channel name was Ezra Production, and now it's Motivation for Young Christians because I wanted a name that really can tell you what uh, my content will be about and exactly what my videos would be about. You can tell that from Motivation for Young Christians that this is motivational videos dedicated to young Christians, and I wanted 
uh, people could easily just identify my content just from the name. And you can pick whether you will go to that channel or not. From Ezra Production, you wouldn't be able to tell that I was making Christian content. And I wanted to make sure it's a, it was clear as possible. Three, add more information in my descriptions. I never really used to add too much information in my description. And thanks to um, Geo, my brother Geo, the other, the second Geo. He told me uh, a lot about that, and now it's a whole bunch of information in my description. Uh, for it, improving on my thumbnails. Uh, I never used to really work too much on my thumbnails, and this year I made sure I do that. I work hard on my thumbnails, make sure that my thumbnails are good and stuff like that. Uh, last, uh, which isn't the last, uh, I did not name all the changes. There's a bunch of other changes I did not name, but last, I started to do videos with other people. Uh, for the previous, for the last four years, it was just me with videos. I never really collaborate with other people or really do videos with other people. It was only and strictly me. But this year, God told me to involve other people in my videos because it's very important for uh, my content to be able to fellowship with, with my other, with my adults, uh, my youth leaders, my youth pastors, my bishops, to involve them in the videos. And I see how much people love me involved in people in my videos, so I just continue to do that. These aren't all the changes that I made to my channel this year. There are more, but these are five major changes that I made to my channel. Now I'll begin into what this year taught me. One, I learned that my bullying situation that I went through for a period of six years affected me in a major way. The person that I am today is as a result of that. My good and bad qualities of myself it's because of that. I didn't realize that the bullying that I went through for like six years really had a major impact on my life because I never really dealt with it. Uh, it's like it happened and I just moved forward. I never really dealt with it and held and healed fully from it. And in my self-reflection, I saw that a, lot, a bunch of my good and bad qualities, not all of them, as it all connects right back to my bullying situation, my confidence. Uh, me being so confident and open to speaking comes from that. Because during that bullying situation, my voice was shut down. I, I couldn't stand up for myself. I couldn't use my voice uh, to the greater good. I couldn't use it. So as a result of that, I'm able to use it now. But a bad quality uh, that it produced was me always feeling attacked. Because I, there were so many jokes thrown at me, uh, I became defensive. So that's why people can't really make jokes with me like that. Because I'm always feeling attacked, which is something I gotta work on. Whether it's like a, a, j a joke that's not really taken serious, like, like I'm talking about like playful jokes, stuff that's not meant to take serious. I kind of like take it serious because it just brings me back to uh, what I used to went through. And it's a bunch of other more stuff, but I'm working on um, healing um, from that. That's my main goal for the next year, to heal from my bullying situation. Two, I learned that a lot of my past pain, hurt, and trauma, I never healed from them, and they still affect me today. This is another important one. I feel like a lot of people don't really heal from pain, hurt, or trauma, and just move forward, and then they end up affecting them later on in life. Same thing happened with me. A lot of past hurt, pain, and trauma, I never really dealt with them. And now I see exactly how they affect me. So along with the bullying, I'm trying to uh really talk about that in myself like if i if i'm like let the emotion be felt if i gotta cry about it if i'm mad i'm irritated whatever emotion come out let me feel that emotion and really heal from it so i'm working on healing from my bullying situation hurt uh pain and trauma i'm, I'm working on healing from all those stuff because i see exactly how they affect me uh three i learned how to be alone before quarantine and before I moved uh, to JV, uh, I was mainly focused on everybody. I was just focused on my responsibility and never really paying too much attention to me. But quarantine made me like really sat down and focus on me, learn about me, learn my good qualities, learn my bad qualities. And as a result, I, I, that's how I figured out that the bullying situation really had a way bigger impact on me. A lot of my past hurt and trauma, I never healed from them. During my self-reflection, with me being forced to be by myself, I was able to figure all those necessary things out. And I, I love that I was able to figure it out because it's best for me to deal and heal with them now. Because if I do it later, it's going to be way more hard and I might be in a better position to heal from it later on. So I want to make sure I heal from it now. And my advice to everybody out there, think about your past hurt, pains, and trauma and see if you heal 
from them or not and see if they affect you to the still to this day and if they do uh go and get some help talk to somebody about it and get get healing from it uh four i learned to focus on myself and my mental health uh which is very important i never really used to like pay attention to mental health i didn't even know what mental health was but i learned about it this year and now i'm really focused on that and i'm just focused on me and focus on improving each and every single day uh, last one, I learned to focus on growing physically, mentally, and spiritually. That's something that I needed to do. Uh, physically, I make sure that I'm I'm in shape, trying to work out as much as possible. Mentally, I make sure that I do a lot of my self-reflection, make sure I meditate, make sure my mind and my mental health is right. And spiritually, I make sure I got more in the word. Because before quarantine, I was not in the word like that. I was only in the word when I had to do a video which is bad. The only time I picked up my Bible is if I had to do a video. And the quarantine made me be in my Bible now. I meditate and I be in my Bible every single day. This is the five things that this year taught me the most. This year taught me a lot, but that's the five major things. And this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a happy New Year's. Please, I recommend it. Set some goals for yourself. And please, look at your life. Look at your past hurt, pain, and trauma. And see if they still have an effect on you. And see, see if you healed them already. And if you haven't, please get some help. Talk to somebody about it. Heal them. Uh, heal all those hurt wounds, all those broken wounds now. Because it will be very hard uh, to heal from it later on in life. So, I recommend that you guys do that. Now, uh, enjoy your New Year's. Uh, I pray that you guys have some growth for yourself, school-wise, work-wise, if you have any of those things, career-wise. Just make sure that you set some goals for yourself and work hard to achieve it. This is the end of the video. This is Motivation for Young Christian. This is the last video uh, from me for this year. I'll see you guys next year. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe if you're new, hit that thumbs up, turn on your post notification. So anytime I upload, YouTube will send you a notification. This is Motivation for Young Christians. I'm out, God. And yes, I'm, at, I'm rocking the Afro today. Afro, everyone, is in full effect. I love you guys so much. That's it for the video. Please like, make sure you subscribe. This is Motivation for Young Christians. I'm out.